Prosecutors have declined an attempted murder charge. This against a suspect arrested after that officer involved shooting at Cahill Park Terrace. Instead, they've added more charges against 47-year-old Blaine Apostadero, including first-degree terroristic threatening, reckless endangering, and possession of a firearm. Now, this all goes back to the incident that happened early Sunday morning when HPD tracked down a stolen vehicle to KPT. Police say that Apostadero shot at two officers as he tried to run away. They returned fire, and he was seriously wounded. Apostadero's bail is set at $1 million. And we're getting our first look at a man whom police say intentionally rammed his car into an e-biker twice in Waimanalo. Police say Keola Castillo struck the 27-year-old victim last Wednesday at Sherwood Forest Park and then again on Kalani Anaoli Highway. That victim suffered some minor injuries. Castillo is charged with second-degree assault. The DLNR are going to be conducting animal control activities today on Hawaii Island. Crews are going to be trapping and shooting feral sheep and goats that are in critical habitats for palila. That is a bird species endemic to Hawaii. Public access is going to be restricted at Mauna Kea Hunter Access Road and these other areas that are currently listed on your screen. That started earlier this morning at 7 a.m. Most U.S. adults apparently cannot say no. This according to a new bank rate survey about impulse shopping. It found more than half of American adults made at least one purchase like that last holiday season. Younger adults tend to be more likely to do it. The top reason to make a big purchase, a great deal. It's expected to be a record holiday shopping season this year with spending expected to top $975 billion. We got a Starbucks experiment that's finally over. They're getting rid of the olive oil coffee that former CEO Howard Schultz had been pushing. The Oleato drinks debuted less than a year ago and were apparently not really loved by most customers. The company said that it is a way, quote, to simplify a complex menu. And the surface on the way down, although it's still elevated for east shores, that's because of that wind swell. Keep in mind, we've got, we've got a significant swell coming in over the weekend for north and west shores. Things are looking good for the HIC uh, Sunset Pro. Should be uh, beginning to start on Saturday. So for Halloween, going to be a little soggy out there, especially for those windward areas. And uh, those showers will continue through Friday. We'll still see some leeward sunshine and then much drier conditions take over for the weekend. This See It Now digital news brief is sponsored by Long's Drugs, bringing our heart to every moment of your health.